Hello, my name is Conrad Breitel, Applications Engineer at RepSales. Today we are going to be punching off rules on the front gang slot as well as on the back working block. So we're going to be touching off tool 35, this tool right here, and we're going to be touching it off in both the Z and the X direction. In order to do this, we are first going to go into our MDI mode on our control panel, call up the tool without the offset, T3500, and the block insert, and then hit cycle start. It will index over to that position. And you will see that the tool is going to center itself in the center line of the part. When we handle over in the X direction, we will find out which side we are going to be putting it into for the measure function. Since we're going to be going in this direction, on the control panel, I'm going to input X 1.25, because that is the bar stock of the diameter, plus the shim of the paper that I'm using. You can use a shim paper like this. It's going to be about three and a half thousand, so we're going to make that diametrically, so it's going to be 1.32 for the function. I'm going to jog over in Z. Then I'm going to come over in X. You can slow down the feed rate to times 10 or times 100, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Once the shim stops moving, I go now into the program, into the offset. And type in X 1.32 measure. And you are all set in the X direction. Now to get rid of this, as we moved over, in the negative direction. We're going to move back over to the positive to clear the paper so you can have movement. And back off in Z. You're going to be going into the positive direction in Z to get away from the material as well as the tool notes. When we touch off in the Z direction, we're going to put the bar stock in front of the tool insert. Next, we're going to move it in, in the Z direction with the shim as well. Have it stop on the piece of paper or the shim, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to go back into our offset, go into Z, and we're going to actually input now Z.0035 for the thickness of the shim. Also, the amount of facing that you want to do on the part. So if you want to do 10,000, we can do Z.0135 measure. And you are all set on that tool. That tool has been qualified in both the X and the Z direction. In order to escape out, you can either move back in, the, in Z2 yourself, or type in G28W0 to go home. The next two things we're going to touch off are going to be a stick tool using standard tool point, as well as a drill using the measure function. We're going to begin with the tool stick tool for standard tool point. In order to do this, we're going to call up the tool without the offset again, T0700. It's going to come down in Y and index itself. I'm then going to call up the bar stock diameter, X1.25, and that's going to be done in MDI mode. It's going to come to its position. one inch and a quarter away from what the machine recognizes as its standard tool point. We're going to bring the bar stock out. And now, I grab my tool. bump it up to the diameter of the bar. Make sure that your jack screw is loosened all the way 
so it's not engaged with the plate. And then simply just tighten down the two bolts. From there, that tool is qualified in the X axis. I can now call up G28U0 to send it home. It's easier to call G28U0 rather than moving the axis if you are unsure of which way the direction will go. That way it's always going to come to its home position in between the front side plate and the rear side front hand clip. Next thing we're going to do is going to touch off the drill. I'm going to move my material out in case there's any interference. I'm going to call up the tool in this state. I'm going to make sure that my tool is tightly fastened and down. I'm going to bring out the bar stock. And I'm going to handle over an X. On the front of the machine, you will see that there is a plate that shows which way the X will travel when using the handle. Again, I'm going to be using my trusty shim. In this case, a piece of paper, which I happen to know is about three and a half thousand. Now that it is tightly snugged up against the bar stock, I can go into my program, into the machine, go into the offset, type in on the offset 3, x 1.32, end of block, and then hit the measure function. Again, we are using x 1.32 due to the fact that x 1.25 is the bar stock diameter, and we are adding in 7 thousandths radially for the addition of the shim. If you have a shim yourself you are using, a 2000, or any other denomination, feel free to just attribute that to the bar stock diameter. And we are touched off in the x direction. If you want to use G28U0, you can. But as another option, you can always grab the stock and move away. Again, follow the x axis on the front of the machine. And you are safely touched off in the x axis for both a live tool using the measure function and a stick tool using standard tool point. Thank you for choosing Sagat. That concludes our session today and touching off tools. For any further information, feel free to reach our distributors or our website at repsales.com.